Hello, I hope you're doing great. So today we are going to see a small example of how to implement visitor trackings in Blazor web assembly applications. But before we start, please remember to subscribe to the channel, share the video, share the channel so we can keep growing. Thank you very much. So uh, every time you have like a new application that is going to be used by a lot of users, uh, especially if it is something like a minimum viable product uh, or uh, an application created by an entrepreneur, things like that, right, where you need to uh, gain users and you need to understand their, beh their behavior. Also, in case you want to improve um, or understand how you, you, your users are using your application, it is really, really important to um, create or implement visitors tracking. Visitors tracking allow you to understand like the pages those users visited uh, at which at the time they visit the pages, right? You will understand also uh, how they, what was their flow throughout the application, right? Things like that. Um, <coughs> today we are going to see a basic implementation of visitor tracking in uh, Blazor WebAssembly and it is a custom implementation. So basically one of the first things you need to do is creating a table that will have a couple of fields. Uh, it will have like the country, the remote IP address, the user agent, right? The uh, visit tracking, the host, visit visit the URL, right? And those are the fields that we are going to. Um, to store in the database, right? Now, <coughs> you will have to create, or what I have done is actually creating a small component, which is this visitor tracking component, which has this uh, code. Basically, we get the, well, you inject the HTTP client, inject the navigator, right? And then we uh, do a post request to an endpoint that we created, right? That is going to be on our server. I have it in here, which is this uh, management portal server, which is the API that the Blazor WebAssembly uh, is communicating with. And I will send current URL equals the actual URL the user is. Uh, at the moment in the Blazor WebAssembly application. So basically we are sending the data or the URL the, the user is visiting. We are sending that to the endpoint so the endpoint uh, makes the rest of the work, right? Now we implement a tracking controller and we implement in here the uh, post action post action receives the current URL or the actual URL the uh, user is located at, right? And then we start getting the things like, for example, the remote IP address, which is going to be the address of the client, right? Uh, <coughs> the one who called, who invoked this endpoint. Uh, we do this validation because we are going to parse the URL and we are basically just ignoring uh, the visit or ignoring the local host addresses, right? So we parse the IP address. We use the IP stack, right? We want to get the location that corresponds to that IP address. We get the country from there. Uh, we get the host from the HTTP context request host value, right? We get the user agent from the request headers, 
right? Then we set all of these values, right, to the model. Uh, here I am using auto mapper to pass the data from the model class to the entity class, right? So here is the entity. We insert that. We save the changes, and we have the information stored in our database. So as soon as the users visit a page, uh, a page that has this component added, um, the sample will be invoked, and that information will be uh, saved. So you will see that, for example, in a couple of pages in the user's portal, for example, the index, basically what I have is this component in here, which is the component we just saw. So it is going to be rendered as soon as this page is visited, and it will uh, store the visitor's information. Then you reproduce that on all of the pages that you want uh, you want to have tracking, right? I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Remember, please subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and tell your friends to subscribe too, so we can keep growing.